Hey guys, welcome to Kerbal Space Program Point Two Three. It came out today or early this morning, technically, and I this is my first chance to really go around and get a look at it. But first thing around the bat, I can tell you is that it has been really optimized, very very nice, running extremely well. In my uh, rig. It was before, but now even when recording, although I am capped out at thirty frames per second for the recording, uh, still there's no slowdowns even really during loading scenes. That's pretty impressive, I must say. Uh, let me go to my career mode real quick. Uh, one of my, my other career mode would not load for some reason, but uh, this mode did, so I'll go check on this one. Uh, of course, you've got your typical science tree, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, up top in the science archives, this is what's totally new here. This is extremely helpful just because it helps you look at what you can improve on because science has a certain meter or gauge now that you can research something to a certain point and then it kind of caps out. Like here, uh, Von Koeman tells us that some of these topics are much further researched than others. There are definitely some opportunities out there. So it lets you know, hey, you can go back to, you know, what in this case, Duna. And there's still some stuff to do there. Like flying on Duna, I haven't done that at all. Uh, apparently I haven't studied many materials or goo observations in space near Duna. So that helps a lot, uh, just to kind of tell you what you can have left to do. Uh, 20 science reports found out of a total of 83. I don't know, I, I clicked on the, the um, which one was I on earlier? I think it was Kerbin maybe? I don't remember which one it was. I had 83 out of 83 on something. I don't know if that's 83 per body, per, per, uh, I, I'm guessing it is. But either way, this is a good way to kind of tell you too what else you have left to do, what there is to do, and so you're not just kind of flying around blindly looking online to see, you know, oh, what else can I do here? But it's cool, it's got all the plants listed, and it's it's just a fun thing. You can even go back and look at the reports and see what uh, your Kerbal observed at that time. So that's really, really fun, something you need to look at. Biomes, I haven't seen anything there yet. Oh, here we go. Water, Highland, Shores, Launchpad. Okay, cool. Very cool. And it tells you, yeah, one report, 21 hidden. So what else there is left to do. So very cool, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, nothing new here. Nothing new here either, I'm pretty sure. Yes, there's nothing new here. Uh, information's all the same. There were two new parts added, if I'm not mistaken. I'll go take a look at those really quick. Uh, one of them is a new engine. I'll go find that. I don't think I have it unlocked. Oh, I don't have it unlocked yet because I'm in this mode. Yeah. Oh, well, I do have the science lab unlocked. Uh, this is the new uh, lab module. Basically, allows you to uh, research things further before transmitting them while in space or away from Kerbin. That's good. New, new part. New. Uh, I, I wish they added more parts in this in this patch. That is definitely something I wish they had improved on a little bit. But let me go ahead and just go to one of these in sandbox mode, so I can show you guys the other engine. Uh, there's a lot more tweakables, so there's a lot more options, uh, supposedly, for building spacecraft. Like, you can go look at, uh, let me find something with multiple multiple things going on here. Engine, for example. Here's a new engine. Uh, you can right-click on it, and this will stay in place, and you can go look at the engine, engine max thrust, the gimbal, blah, blah, blah. It has a cool little height meter here. Uh, not really relevant, but it is just cool to see that. In, uh, like For example, this one's in centimeters, as in fill out. Um, and then it sticks to meters for the rest of these. So, kind of gives you an idea of how tall they are. More detailed description for everything. Uh, cost, manufacturer, blah, blah, blah. It's cool. More detail. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, ignore the auto asparagus. This is just a mod I've been trying out lately. That's This is not anything new. So, ignore that. Uh, look for, I don't know if you could. I don't know if this is a thing yet. Can you do this? Yeah, it, gives you, it shows you how much they hold of each. Yeah, and that's that's really that's really about it. Um, there are a couple more things they add, of course, the tweakables and the science data as, as far as that goes, optimizations. But really, compared to the last patch where they added in the career mode, you know, the tech, the science tech tree, a whole bunch of new parts. Uh, this is nothing compared to that patch. Not nearly as big. That's why it came out so much faster. So if you're expecting somewhere. Along the lines of the last patch, uh, you'd be mistaken. It's not nearly as detailed. It's more of a, a ha, an improvement in both the way the game runs, uh, performance-wise, and the way the science trees and the science the tech trees and 
how you gather science has all been altered. So it's really just a big old patch uh, rather than an update to the game like an add-on. So looking forward to the net point two four. They're supposed to expand the scope of the science and the tech tree and the career mode in the next point two four patch. So that that one should be as big as point two two. So I hope you guys like this little brief little preview. I'm not going to be doing any videos on uh, the new KSP patch as of yet, but I will be keeping you guys up to date with more mod videos and stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think about the new patch, and I will be seeing you guys next time in my next KSP video.